Greetings and salutations, you guys, Hayden here. Welcome to our live sale this Thursday, May 11, 2023. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Happy Thursday. I'm so excited tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> but if you guys are watching this live after um, the live has already ended and it's a replay, you can check down below in the description box. Adam's availability and their pricing will be down there. And that's for all of the other live sale replay videos too. You can shop from those as well. And if you guys are new to the channel or to the live sale, so welcome. My name is Hadrian. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, all the rules and information for the sale are right here and also down below in the description box. Uh, it's easier for you to read there. Um, but yeah, okay. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. Hi, Dorothy. Ed. There's the Lady Badger. Hi, Linda. Purple Rain. Sister of a Down. West Coast Gal. LaVon. Marisol. How is everyone doing today? Oh, wait. I also, I think I saved you a question for the giveaway. Oh, this is um, Hannah's question that she thought of yesterday. What bag are you lasting after that I may have? Or even if I don't have it, like what bag are you looking for right now? And that'll definitely help me during my uh, searching and thrifting. So that is today's question. You can leave your answer right here um, in the comments of the video that I'm going to link in the comments. Wait, did I say Friday? I meant Thursday. Did I say Thursday? Friday. Today's Thursday. But that is the link. Leave your answer in the comments right there. I'm sweating. I've been like out in the garden today. So also if my allergies start going crazy, <laughs> that's another reason. I'm trying to kill all of the weeds that are coming out in between the papers. And it's so crazy. Um, I've been doing like the hot water thing, like boiling water, trying to kill the weeds with hot water. And it works, but then after a little while, they will sometimes come back to life. Or it'll rain, and then they come back to life. So today I tried something new, and I made a, co a concoction with its uh, vinegar, soap, and salt. And I sprayed that on the weeds and I used two gallons of vinegar and I need like two more it was like not enough but uh let's see how they turn out tomorrow and if it see if it if it actually works a bag full of money I wish it was Friday too since we were down okay Levon just scheduled a garage sale blog for June Ooh, that's exciting and found a brand new recommend golf mini mac at a garage sale. Oh, they had a new Dooney and Burke too. You should have gotten that one also. How much did you get them? Or how much was it? Oh, Linda. <laughs> Everyone's getting ready to go to back to school night, school night right now. So... I don't know if they just left, actually. And if they did just leave, they were really quiet. Because they were really loud, like, right before I started. Because everyone was, like, getting ready to head out. And then I have to pick up Cade after the live today. He's coming back from his, um, like, 8th grade trip. So that should be pretty fun. Hi, One Hot Face. How are you? Okay, so don't forget to leave your answer in the comments of this video right there. And then today, we're giving away... This is a little um, leather pouch from American Leather Co. It's a tooled leather pouch. And it actually has a built-in uh, reusable charger for your phone. And it has, like, the plug for, like, both the iPhone and like a mini or micro USB or whatever that is called for um, Androids. And then this is the plug to charge it. So yeah, that is today's giveaway. It's pretty much brand new and super fun. I feel like I always need a charger. 
to be Kurt by her rainbow bag. Ooh, that's cute, Linda. Was it a was it a rainbow leather or was it one of like the woven fabrics? Kurt Geiger bags are so fun. The one that Hibatia got recently for me is really cute. It's that tweed and sequin one. That one is amazing. It's such a fun bag. Do I look sunburnt? Oh, I'm not sunburnt today. I, well, it, it's kind of overcast today. But the sun was, like, coming in and out, and I, like, slathered myself in sunscreen. So, oh, uh, thanks, Robin. Yeah, I thought it was a really cute thing, so. Always need a charger. You can just leave it in your car, too. And you can use it as, like, a wallet or a clutch. So it's definitely very versatile. Ooh, okay, the rainbow leather. Those are so fun. The metallic ones. I no, I'll never forget that one time I found, like, they had a giant one. Like, one of the giant quilted, it was like a chevron quilted oil slick rainbow or something. Uh, Kurt Geiger bag at Veterans Thrift. And I think it was pretty expensive. And it had, like, a lot of color issues. So... I heard that that's one of the things, though, with um, some of those rainbow Kurt Geiger metallics, that the colors come off a little bit. And one way to kind of um, prevent that is you, if when you first get your bag, to spray it with, like, some sort of finisher top coat, and that'll help protect the metallic color from rubbing off on the leather. So some, like... Almost all metallic leathers, almost all, it depends really on the finish and the type, but almost all start to lose color, like, eventually. So you kind of have to keep it up or protect that leather, or else the finish might come off. But that's not on all of Like, the patent ones or ones that have, like, a glazed finish, those will stay on a lot longer. It's those leathers that are, like, really, really soft or... Um, leathers like that once like that top coat kind of comes off like some like the metallic eventually will start to wear down and I feel like that's something on like, on all of them ooh I love Doc Martens mm, Robin no Well, no, they have some that are like the aerosol ones. Those are really, really light. But those, I feel like you have to spray more often. And then you can also do like a light coat of like an Angelus acrylic um, leather finisher. And those you can also spray on using like a paint spray gun, and then that'll leave a really light finish. But, yeah, any any sort of top coat can, like, alter the appearance and feel of the leather. But um, you kind of just have to get the right finish. And then it depends on how thick of an application you do. Yeah, it's always the, the softer the leather, the easier for the color to come off. Because it usually means that there's no sort of, there's not like a lot of, um, like finish on top of the leather. So it's like those, like the Kurt Geiger bags, um, like Balenciaga bags, the color tends to lighten pretty quickly. Um, what else? Oh, or like Lieb skinned, um, those like vegetable dyed leathers typically are like that. Um, Lucky Brand, um, Pro Wenza Schooler, mm, stuff like that. Okay, anyway, let's get started. I have some, oh, I have like bags, and I also pulled some more shoes too. Every time I see Geiger, I keep thinking Gengar, <laughs> the Pokemon. I don't know why I'm like, Gengar? 
All right, let's start off with, ooh, okay, I just, I had, okay, I'm like obsessed with suede right now and cleaning and conditioning that, like suede in general. I should have taken before and after photos of these shoes, but these are some super cute Tory Burch shoes. They have a small like one inch heel and I like that the Tory Burch logo is in the back like of the heel right there so it's very like you know it's like a cute little peekaboo and then of course you have like the buckle in the front with the gold hardware and the suede is looking beautiful. I cleaned it and I conditioned it and we like it's really really nice. Um, there might be a couple little marks I couldn't get out completely. There's a little bit of like a dark mark still right there, but it's like literally like a shadow. Like you're not going to notice it unless you look really hard. So they look really, really good. Um, the bottoms don't have too much wear on them either. And they are size five and a half. So size five and a half Tory Burch shoes. Um, oh, I, I did pull some, I think I do have, like, one size 9 shoe. So, so this is the red uh, Tory Burch shoes with gold buckle details, size 5.5. And these we're going to do for how much, Adrian? They are. Did you see them? I just cleaned them up. Okay, these are going to be $35. That's going to be item number one. Alright, next up. These guys right there. They look so cute. Uh, number two. Oh, I also still have these. Uh, um, I showed these yesterday. I started cleaning them, but I finished them today. So these look really, really good now too. So cute. I love that it just has like the little Tory Burch logo hardware right there on the corners. But this is in a really pretty tan suede leather. And these are a size five, I believe. No, these are also five and a half. So these are also five and a half. I'm just gonna put them as number two. I have so many size seven and a half shoes. Um, tan, Tory Burch, uh, suede flats with gold hardware. And this is how much we doing? Okay, these are going to be $30. It's going to be item number two. And then I'll do those size nines that I have right now. Someone was asking about them. Um, these actually come with a box. This is a Kate Spade. These are Kate Spade shoes. The box has a little damage to it. Like, there's some marks and some indentations. But what's important is the inside. And these are some beautiful... I don't have... I have so much suede right now. Um, it does have, like, the um, original paper inside. But these are some... Kate Spade sandals, and these are in a, it's like a, like a brown, but it kind of has like a little bit of like a red in it, right? The color on screen is actually pretty accurate, so that's good. So these are some platform sandals. They're about a two inch platform. They have light gold hardware. They just buckle on the sides. These are a size nine. They're like pretty much brand new. It doesn't look like these have ever been worn outside, at least. There's, like, no marks or anything. Super cute shoes. They come with a box. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Cindy. These are our brown suede Kate Spade platform sandals with light gold hardware and box size 9. And... These are going to be how much fader is. Okay, we're going to do these for $45. And that's going to be item number three. Again, pretty much brand new in box. These sandals are in such great shape. 
Super cute. Over there. Okay. Um, oh, Robin's calling it number three. Congratulations, Robin. I'm super glad. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. I'm super excited you got those sandals. They're beautiful. Okay, next up is item number four. And we have... Oh, I have this cute little um, clutch. And it's in, like, this embossed printed snake leather and it has this little gold knotted detail up at the top and it does have the little chain inside here which is removable or you can just tuck it inside of there um this is from um the brand orly clutch and they make beautiful clutches so nice and they're really well made and they're pretty pricey too so this is our next item and it's in like like new condition it's really cute i feel like it'll go with a lot of things um unfortunately it won't fit like a phone unless you have like a folding phone inside but definitely room for cards like a compact lipstick chapstick inside of here your car keys and this is number four orly clutch in brown uh snake Buzz leather and gold hardware and this one is gonna be let's just do this one for $25 it's gonna be item number four okay next up got number five and that's this guy right here put that next to Snorlax um, our next item is going to be Oh. This is a um this is a red patent leather leather patent leather thumb brown clutch. It's a beautiful vibrant patent red leather um it says thumb brown right there in gold and then the signature um thumb brown ribbon and then it's also on the hardware right there it's super cute the zipper nice and fluid and then the interior is also in that red white and blue thumb brown is the one that dressed um who did he dress at the he dressed what's her face from when from wednesday janelle monet What's her name from um, Wednesday? Jenna Ortega. Um, William, no, Bill Skarsgård. Um, and like everyone that looked fabulous pretty much that wore um, black and white. No, he wore his own brand. Um, they, Don Brown dressed him. So this is Item number five, our red patent leather thumb brown uh, clutch with gold hardware. And this one is in really great shape. It's in like new condition too. All okay, we're gonna do this one for 50. And that's item number five. Ooh, Purple Rain's calling it. Congratulations, Purple Rain. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Next up, you got number six. And for number six, oh, okay. These shoes are really cool. Um, these are a size 35. So they're a size five. Um, these are Celine. So these are red Celine shoes. These are like the, they're like ballet heels. I remember when these came out like on the runway, they were like the it shoe, like literally they were everywhere. 
Um, but they're size 35. They're in red. It has black leather on the interior. Um, yeah, size 35. They don't have like too much wear on them either. And the leather is in pretty good shape. I don't think there's really... There might be like a little mark like right there on the shoe, like a little scratch mark, but honestly, it's not very noticeable at all. Um, maybe like very slight rubbing on the ends, but very, very light. Um, why size for any set? Um, do I have any seven and a half? I'm gonna have to check and see if I have anything seven and a half. Um, I don't think I do. I will check. Um, but yeah, look at the heel too. The heel is really cool. But yeah, these are Celine. They're an orangey red. Okay. Um, and we are on item number seven. So these are our red Celine. Huh? Oh, six. Six. Red Celine heel size. What did I say? 35. Okay. Okay, and these are going to be $75. That's going to be item number six for our Red Celine heel size 35. They're so nice. I have so many red things today. Like, red is, like, the color. Okay, next up, uh, number seven is going to be... Ooh, speaking of red, we got this beautiful red croc embossed leather coach flap bag. Gunmetal colored hardware. This is in, like, new condition. We have a back pocket right here. The crossbody strap is removable and you can also double it up and wear it as a shoulder bag as well. The hang tag is right there. Turn lock opens up. Interior just has one interior pocket right there and it's super clean on the inside. Such a cute shape and silhouette. Um, largest iPhone does fit inside there but you have to fit it in sideways. Um, and that's with the case. If you take off the case, it should fit just normally in there but it's going to be a little tighter of a squeeze if you have a case on the largest iphone that's a iphone 14 pro plus size or whatever all right marjorie <laughs> oh no she's like a size four and a half i think right four and a half she has like the tiniest feet um red croc embossed coach flat bag with Gun metal hardware. And this one's in like new condition. And this is how much we okay, This one is $85. That's going to be number seven. So cute. This actually is a, also a, like these are like so cute together. They're almost the same color. They just give off a different shade on camera because of the texture of the leathers. But like in person, they're like literally almost the same exact color. Ooh, does anyone have anything fun planned for the weekend? Zach has his first water polo match this weekend. Um, he really wanted to start playing um, in one of the leagues. So he's trying it. So his first game is on Saturday, and Kate also has a game on Saturday, so they're, like, split up. And, yeah, so I think my mom might go to Kate's match, and then my sister's going to bring Zach, because they're literally both at the same exact time, too. Marjorie, I think she said, oh, no, she's, I think she said four and a half to five. Because she said, like, I think she's at five and a half might be too big for her. Ah, oh, Lady Badger, I'm sorry. Something flew into my eyeball. 
I think I got five million bug bites today too, just from being outside. The bugs are out of control. Ooh, Hepatia. A beach baptism sounds really nice. Is the weather really nice where you're at right now? You're gonna go hike to see the lilacs and trees near Mohawk. Ooh, that sounds so pretty, Robin. You're gonna have to share photos with us. You Oh, if you can, send me some photos like in my email or something and I can share them um, during the live on Saturday night. I would love to see the flowers. Our, um, our mega bloom behind the house has like died down. Like the flowers have started dying already. So it's not as pretty as, pretty as it used to be. <laughs> Next up, we got item number eight. And... We have... Oh! Um... Okay, so this is a little Tory Burch uh, key case. And the hardware has a lot of discoloration. It's gold, but it has started to like patina and like rub off. And you can see that it's kind of like a bronze brass color underneath. Um, but the leather of the exterior is in really good shape and the inside is really good too. We have six key um, holders right there and then there's a pocket and a pocket so you can just throw cards in there as well just use this as a key card case if you wanted and just be nice and compact um the zipper works really well it's just this front hardware right there has some uh color issues cindy going to talk for the day oh that's so nice cindy that's like literally the best gift ever. Oh, that's right. This weekend is Mother's Day. I keep forgetting that it's Mother's Day. I gotta get stuff situated for my mom and my sister. I gotta do that tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so this is our black zip around Tory Burch key case. And this is how much, Peter? Uh, Peter? And this one's gonna be $25. And that's gonna be number eight. $25 for our Toy Birch Zip Around Key Case. I think um, for Mother's Day, we're just going to, my mom just wants to stay home. And we're going to do um, Korean barbecue. So we're going to like set up the little cooking thing. And then we're going to like cook the meat on there like we're at a Korean barbecue place. So that should be pretty fun. And next up, we're on number nine. And let's do... What size are these? Oh no, these are an eight and a half. Or no, these fit like an eight. Um, next up I have, these are Celine's also. And these are Celine like slip-on, like sneakers. They're in this like really pretty, like graphic, colorful print. And these are, these are a size um, 30, these are size 38 and a half. But they fit more like a size 8. Um, yeah, my mom's pretty sad about them. They're super duper cute. But these fit more like a size 8. They're in really great shape. Very little wear to them. Um, yeah, clean sneakers. And these are number 8. Celine graphic print sneakers size 38.5 fits like size 8 and okay we're gonna do these for 150 we're gonna just do a, do a discount on them that's gonna be number nine right Robin I feel like Mother's Day is always like so crazy like on the actual day as far as restaurants go so
Oh, that's gonna be so exciting, Linda. Are you guys gonna do anything special? Are you gonna guys are you guys gonna do like something at the house? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun. It's always so fun to have like a new baby on like Mother's Day. Next we have number ten. And oh I put that down there. Okay. Number ten. And let's do Oh wait, I had um these sunglasses, where did they go? Um, these are St. Laurent, ah, yeah. So these are St. Laurent. Oh, okay. That makes sense, Linda. Um, these are St. Laurent. They are like a cat eye aviator style. Is that what you call it? Uh, it has gray lenses, silver frame and then it's just black on the ends and then it says Saint Laurent right on here on the corners. Um, little nose pieces are right there. There is um, there are some scratches though on the lenses. There's a couple right there. I don't know if you can see but it's in this bottom left corner. I think you can see them just like right there. And then there's one right there on that side too. You can see that. But otherwise, the sunglasses are in great shape. They're really, really cute. If they were just a little bigger, I would definitely wear these. But they're just a little too small for me. Um, but these are going to be item number 10. These are our um, silver Saint Laurent cat eye aviators with gray lenses. And these are going to be how much for you Okay, we're just going to do these for 85. They do have a couple little scratches on them, but honestly, they're not very noticeable at all. Especially when you're wearing them. They're really, really cute. Okay, so that's St. Laurent. Cat eye sunglasses. That's number 10. And then next up, we have number 11. Hi, Tara. How are you? Let's do Oh I fixed up the Claire Vivier. This is that ghosty um clutch crossbody bag. And it has that black suede pocket here on the front, and then the rest is in a black leather. It has like the two pouches. Um they have this is the first pocket right there. That was actually pretty clean. It's the main compartment that has um, some pen marks and discoloration on the inside. It has chambray lining, but it does have a lot of pen marks. Like someone just went a little crazy with their pens. But um, yeah, it doesn't have any other pockets inside there. And the crossbody strap is removable. So you can just use this as a clutch if you wanted. But it's really, really cute. This is still available on the Claire Vivier website. This retails for $400. And this is the Claire Vivier Go See Clutch. And the crossbody strap. Um, the strap, you can tie it up like this to make it shorter. Or you can have it the regular length. It sits um, right a little bit, like right at my waist, actually, when I have the strap um, not knotted up. A good cell phone service. I don't know. We've always had AT and T, and Vadrian. Vadrian recommends T-Mobile. They've had it for years. I had AT and T since forever. I think my mom's had AT and T since um.
the late 90s. Oh, you've had that, you've had it since the Razer cell phone came out? Nice. You know, my mom had the Razer cell phone too, but she had AT&T. I have Boo 7 phones and only one is working. Oh, uh, I've never used Boost Mobile. I've only ever seen the commercials. Uh, okay, so this is our Black Claire Vivier Go See um, Clutch Cross Body Bag with gold hardware. And this one is $85. Yeah, I think that's when my mom got her first cell phone, was like in 95 or something, um, Linda. But my dad's had Verizon for about the same amount of time. He had to get Verizon because AT&T didn't work at his, like, where he was working. And then we had to have, or my mom had to have AT&T because Verizon didn't work where she was usually at. So it was, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, Robin. Yeah, I hate that. Like, certain cell phone services don't work in certain areas. Like, I have AT&T. It's honestly, like, a dead zone where my house, where we live. Like, AT&T does not work. But my dad and my sister both have Verizon. And it works perfectly. So, that's, like, the one thing. Uh for the last six weeks I'm gonna stop working. No way, Tara. I think if you like oh well, like they keep hanging up on you. But if that happens, I think you can get like you should be able to get like a refund or like a pro rate or something, especially like when the service doesn't work. I think, I honestly think it's Verizon that has the best network coverage or something, but I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. Um, we just have AT&T still. No, I honest, I actually recently changed our plan because we were grandfathered into the old iPhone data plan and... I was talking to someone at AT and T recently, and um, they had like a new plan that was actually better than the plan that we were on. So I think we're saving even more money. And back when I used to work at Best Buy, um, I was able to get a discount on our plan. So that was another reason why we never changed because I I still have the discount because they never took it off. <laughs> Since I was working at Best Buy. So, like, literally since we since um, I was working at Best Buy, we've I think we've had, like, a 20% discount on our um, phone plans. And that's why my me, my mom, and my brother, like, they're all, like, on my plan thing. Because I still get that discount all, after all this time. Hi, Pollyanna. Last few months have that. Oh yeah, Tara, it's definitely time for a change then. Well, that's a pretty good deal, Marjorie. Wait, Marjorie, you you have AT and T, right? I think she said she had AT and T. But yeah, like, depending on your carrier, like, they all have, like, different, um, reception things. Mm. 
Yeah. Tierra Vidrian said to check T Mobile. Because T Mobile might have some pretty good deals that are um like that are kind of comparable to that. Oh, not number one. Okay, no, we're on number eleven, right? Am I on number eleven? No, number twelve. Oh, Vidrian forgot to send me the list last night. And they just admitted to it. You just admitted it right now. Vadrian, uh, we're gonna, uh, let me actually just fix that right now. <laughs> Vadrian's in denial. Okay. Let's put that. Into yesterday. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, I think six. Whoa, ten? Why does he have two? <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Wait, why does why does he have two lines? He has two phones? It sounds complicated. Vadrian says that their family plan has you said ten? Ten lines? Nine or ten lines? That is crazy. Oh, the black Chanel. Oh my gosh. Let me show it to you guys again. It's so cute. I love that bag. I think it's really pretty. Where is it? Who are you, Chanel? Oh, it's right behind me. Oh, Pollyanna has T-Mobile. Vadrian has T-Mobile too, Pollyanna. They are a really big family with 50 million cell phones. Just imagine when... Um, the, the younger ones get cell phones, the babies get cell phones. Okay. Black, Chanel, vertical stripe, or vertical quilting, um, single flap bag. Gunmetal colored hardware. Super cute. Lambskin leather. It does have some rubbing right here on the corners. But it's honestly not noticeable unless you're like looking really hard at it. It's beautiful. The leather is so soft and squishy. It will come with the chain shortener too, so that way you can adjust the length of your strap. Um, one interior zipper pocket's nice and clean on the inside. Um, Robin, I think, oh, Vader, do you remember what year this was? I'll read you the number, or you can look it up. Vader's going to look up the year. I always forget how to do it. Are you ready? It's one five three five one five three five seven eight five four. I think it depends, no? Like the number like it depends.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has eight. Oh, okay. So it's 2015. It's a 2015 bag. So it's not too old. You, this would be a Gen Z. It would be a Gen Z bag. Like the age. Is it? Um... Oh, your daughter's going off to college in August. Where's she going? Um, wait, no. Wait, did they find? Did they find out already? Where they, yeah, right. No. When do you find out when you go to like when you get accepted in colleges? I always forget. I don't remember anymore. That was a long time ago. Um, black. Oh, 2011, you guys. Sorry, 2011, not 2015. Black vertical quilting or quilted Chanel. Lamb skin single flap bag with gunmetal hardware. And this one was how much reading? Okay. Um Yeah? No? Okay. Fadrian says to do a little bit of a discount. We're gonna do one thousand seven hundred and fifty. Yeah, it's two thousand eleven, Robin. A little discount number twelve. Oh yeah, no like recent bags. I feel like a lot. I've heard some horror stories, and I've seen like a lot of those TikToks where people just like they re literally just receive the bag like in the mail, or get it from the store, and they get home and they they find like quality issues on the bag. So it's crazy. <gasps> oh my gosh, Ren, you graduated in two thousand fifteen. Ooh, and then you can go to your 10-year ten, ten high school reunion. Um, Kayla, I think I, if I, I, well, um, just send it, like, if you buy anything new, just in case, but if you sent me an email before, and it's the same name as it is here on, um, in the chat, I should be able to find you. Okay, so that was number 12. And number 13 is this guy right here. This is the Loewe mini puzzle. And this is the edge style in the pink orange ombre. This is e, the Paula Ibiza um, collection from 2022, from last year. Has gold hardware. It's in like new condition. <laughs> Uh, cross body strap is right inside of here. I also do have like the cards and stuff for it. I just don't have the desk bag. So all the cards and everything are right here um, inside the bag. There's no pockets or anything on the interior. Just, just like that. My high school reunion will definitely not be a main. No way, friends! You're totally a main character. <laughs> Pedro says, "Show up in a cute Chanel bag." All right, this is number thirteen. This is our um, pink to orange ombre um, Loewe mini puzzle edge. Bag with gold hardware. And this is how much we did? This is 1,500. And that's number 13. Okay, Robin. I had one, but, um, and bought it. <laughs> but if I find another one. But that is number 13, our little mini puzzle. It's so cute. I love how squishy it is, too. It's like adorable. All Black Geiger. Ooh. Black Kurt Geigers are always fun. Nice and classic style. Okay, number 14 is this 
Oh, Robin, yeah, it was from a while back. Um, how long ago was that? It was like a few months ago, I think. Hi, Steffi. No worries. Don't be sorry. We're just glad you're here. Um, oh, these are like another tiny pair of shoes, aren't they? These are a size 35. Um, these are some Kenzo espadrilles, espadrille slip-ons. They're just in a like natural colored canvas. And then we have little tigers embroidered on there. And they're just cute little espadrilles. They don't have too much wear on the bottom. Again, these are size 35. And they are um, leather lined in the interior. Just this, yeah, leather lined in the inside. 35. And these are... Uh, 14 are Kenzo um, Espadrille Slip-Ons with Tiger Print Size 35. And these are how much, Peter? Okay, these are $40 for the Kenzo. They're in really great shape, too. Like, the canvas is pretty clean, and so is the little braided part like literally like barely anywhere on the bottoms they're just really small and a size 35 okay 15 we get all these small shoes i don't know okay next up hi uh, hi yo uh, Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I have, these are um, Halston sunglasses, and they're just a black aviator style, and it's, um, yeah, black metal, this little nose piece right there. The ends are in a tortoise shell, and just a nice aviator, these are Halston. So, black Halston um, aviator sunglasses with dark gray lenses, and these are how much, Adrian? Okay, these are just going to be $30. They're in really great shape. They just stay Halston on the sides. It's nice. These actually would be, like, a good Father's Day gift, too. These are, like, cool dad sunglasses <laughs> all right next up we have number 16 and 16 i have this is a like an off-white duty and burke satchel the strap is on the inside The crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. It just has polished um, brass hardware. The interior um, does have some discoloration, especially like around the top by where the zipper is. There's a zipper pocket inside and then three open pockets as well as a key fob. Or, uh, yeah. And, yeah, I don't think, there's no like pen marks or anything. There's just like some discoloration of the fabric just from regular wear and the exterior leather is in pretty good shape it just has a little bit of rubbing but i think i will touch this one up it'll be pretty easy to touch it up so i can get the exterior looking like the leather looking perfect it's just going to have some discoloration on the interior uh and yeah it's a really cute size too Ooh, actually, should I paint this a different color? I can pretty much paint this any color. I don't want to paint something on it. I just want to paint it a different color, Adrian. You're making it too difficult. <gasps> Totoro? Actually, I do want to paint Totoro on here. Maybe I should just save it and paint something on it. It's gold hardware. Yeah, it's gold hardware. It's a light gold, Elaine, but it's gold. 
I'll just keep it as is, though. And if you want me to paint it a different color, I can. Just let me know. I have pretty much every color. Or I might just, like, if no one buys it, I might pick a color myself and just paint it. Something fun. Hi, love. Oh, hi, Levon. Oh, some fake Louis Vuitton bags. Ooh, Hepatia, neon. I was actually thinking neon green. Hold on. I think I have a really fun um, neon green paint. No, I have a different one. Yeah, I have this one. Would this green be fun? It's called Grinch Green. Grinch Green. It actually is very Grinch colored. I wonder if I have anything else. Let me see. In my paints right here. Yeah, I'm not going to use that opaque okay one. That one's like... The color of the Ooh, I have a neon yellow. That's kind of fun. Uh, it's just regular green. Mm, I feel like that's like my most fun green shade. Other than like a metallic green. I also have... Yeah, I've been wanting to do like a cool green recently. Yeah, so I have the tropical sun yellow. And then I have... This green is so good. Should we try it? Not me wanting to try it like right now. I wanna see what it looks like. Elaine? Oh! Um certain bags if I'm gonna like fix them up or something. But I usually I don't paint them unless I tell you guys that I'm gonna paint them. <laughs> Otherwise I just clean them. But I feel like this would be like such a fun color. Are you ready for the color? Oh, whoa. That's fun. <laughs> like literally already painting it. Unhinged. Ooh, this one's good. Hold on, this is like, it's gonna go really cute with like the hardware too. I'm not scared of like paints. I know like I can just clean this off right, like if you try like, like painting something like this like really quickly, um, you can literally just clean this off with conditioner. Um, as long as you clean it off before it dries, like it's really easy to remove. So if you don't like a color that you try on, especially on white, that's why I was like, ooh, let's try it really quickly. Like that looks, hold on. I think I have to turn off the light. All right, her. Oh, I got paint on my finger. That is a nice neon green though. I might take like, a couple shades though. Wait, hold on. Mm. Mm. Hold on, I think the lighting is a little Crazy. I think that's better. Yeah, I think it's going to take a couple shades. But I can see it. I can see the potential. I think it might look really good. Once, um... But yeah, I think I'll do it this color, right? I feel like that's really fun. It already looks so good. And I don't think I've ever seen a Dooney and Burke in this color either. So that'd be pretty cool. I think I've already committed to the green. I think it's just going to be this color. 
Vaderin's just laughing at me. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? You're so crazy. Yeah. I've been wanting to paint this one for a while. Every time I see a white bag, I'm like, I want to paint it a different color. Because it's so easy to paint. Ooh, also, did anyone buy any of the Mugler stuff today? With the, the collaboration, the Mugler uh, H&M collection? Did anyone buy anything? I know every like so many people went crazy this morning buying stuff. And I was like, should I get anything? I was like looking at the sweaters and stuff. But I feel like none of that is like really my style. So I'm just like, eh. None of those corsets are gonna fit me anyway. Look, I'm like literally almost done. Um, I'll probably use like a bigger paintbrush though, but this is just the one I had right here. My other paintbrushes are by the sink because I was painting something last night. But it's so easy to paint stuff; like you don't have to be scared about it. I've already prepped this um, this bag too. Um, I cleaned it, and the finish on it has pretty much. Um, all worn off, so it's pretty easy to paint. Vadrian says that there's still a couple of pieces left if anyone's interested in stuff. Bikinis and bodysuits. An oversized. Ooh, how much are the shopper totes? I think that color is the light the lighting just wants to blow it out because it's so like neon but it looks really cool this is gonna be a cool bag when it's done anyway I'm gonna stop painting this but if anyone wants it let me know it's no longer white though it's green <laughs> if you wanted it white I'm sorry it's already too late I mean it's not too late but I've already committed I painted on the uh, what's it called? On the stitching, so. <laughs> I'm like kind of obsessed. It looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Oh, wait, what? We didn't? Ooh, an ombre color. I've never done an ombre before. Um, I do use the dyes, uh, but usually just for like black, like darker colors. Okay, Lady Badger, I will. I'll probably finish it today. I'll send you some photos. But it's. So cute. I'm like already obsessed with it. This color is really fun. I've always wanted to use this color. I haven't used it yet till now. This is my first time using it. Hold on. I just want to use all the paint on the brush because I don't want to waste it. But it is looking really good. This paint dries uh, really quickly too. So in like a few minutes it should be like totally okay to touch. I just want to use it for like 24 hours. Um, you can, but then you're not going to get that Vachetta look anymore on your bag. But I do actually have a product that you can try if you wanted to try it out. Um, you just have to, like, tape off the bag, probably. Hold on, I'm just going to put this over here so I can do that. Let me just put my brush... Oh, Kathleen! That's good to hear, because I was the one that packaged that, and I was scared. But, um, <laughs> I was like, what do I do? Um, but I'm glad you like everything, Kathleen. 
I know Vadrian probably would have done a better job, but I was I was the one that packaged it because I wanted to get it out to you um, quickly. Um, Robin, um, I have leather. Um, what is it called? The Angelus acrylic leather finisher, uh, and I have whatever like they, they sell different finishes. So they have like the high gloss, gloss, semi gloss. They have matte, and then they just have the regular. Um, I generally will just use the regular, but if you're trying to color match something, and then you need to match the code, like the finish, I just have all of them so I can match it. But give me one second. I'm just gonna wash this really quick because I don't want the paint to dry on it. So give me just one second. I'll be right back. Okay, um... Oh, Robin, um, the acrylic paints and the dyes from Angelus, none of them actually require a top coat or anything. You just have to wait for everything to completely dry. Um, but yeah, like the... Essentially, the top coats are just for, like, added protection or if you're trying to finish or change the, um, the finish of the leather... And or if you're trying to like seal it in, you know, um, so like, like if you were trying to seal this Patricia Nash bag, then you would use like a top coat. But if you were just to like dye it, um, the color won't rub off once it dries, but it'll still kind of like patina and stuff. Whereas if you do put a finisher on it, that's not going to happen anymore. Um, it'll just be fully protected and just like kind of stay like that. I hope I, I don't know if that makes sense but yeah but the if you use like an Angelus dye or paint if you do it the right way it shouldn't um color transfer or anything the only things I can think of for color transfer with those things if you do them incorrectly is if you don't prep your leather before you use a dye um Sometimes the leather will have to will have a top coat or um, it has too much oils in it that the leather that the dye doesn't penetrate properly into the leather and then it'll just like sit and then that will have color transfer or rub off. Um, but yeah. Oh Robin, you're not able to join. Were you able to download the app? Wait, Hipata, you went to a bunny cafe? That sounds like so much fun. Elaine? Um, I don't know. I do it all the time. I, I try not to if I can avoid it, but sometimes there's just no um, getting around it. Sometimes you just have to or else you can't... Um, the bag's just going to look too, like... 
um, worn, if that makes sense. But if you have like a fun white Dooney and Burke, you could paint that a fun green color. That's always exciting. Oh, you're going tomorrow, Hypatia? That sounds like fun. But here is the Discord group. If you guys want to join, let me add that um, right here. If I can find the link for it. Where is it? My eyeballs are getting blinded by the lights. All right, here is the link to join our Discord group if anyone would like to join. But hi, Boots, how are you feeling today? All right, next up. Oh, also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Let me leave that link. Um, a lot of people are just joining in right now. Here is the link for the giveaway. I have a really cool giveaway today, too. So you guys are going to want to enter. I'm giving away this. American Leather Company tooled zipper pouch wristlet and it actually has a built-in uh, rechargeable reusable um, phone charger like battery pack inside so it's pretty cool and it works I, I tried it out so it does hold a charge and it will charge your phone hi Kirsten Oh no, Robin. <laughs> I don't know why you're not able to join. That's so weird. Still sore in pain. Oh, you're going to make it through, Boots. We're sending you some positive energy. Well, let me turn this light back on, though. Alright, next up. I think we're on number 16. I don't even know what number we're on anymore. 14? My number 14? Oh, I skipped. I didn't update two numbers. Okay, number 16 is next. And for 16, I have... What do I have? Oh, 16. Was a Dooney. Um, green Dooney and Burke satchel. Gold hardware. How much did we have it before, Peter? Oh, Kathleen, it's, um... What bag are you listing over that Hadrian has, or really any bag? Like, what what's the what's the bag that you're obsessed with right now that you would love to add to your collection? Like, what is it? <gasps> Kirsten Fajita sounds so good. Okay, so um, that Dooney and Burke, it's gonna be fifty dollars. But I think um, Lady Badger called that one. So, Lady Badger, if you want that one, it's yours. I'm giving you first dibs on it um, since you said you wanted it once it was painted. So, all right. Congratulations, Lady Badger. That one's yours. Yay. You're going to love it. It's so cute. It's going to look so good. I love that Grinch green. Looks just like the Grinch. Okay, 17 then is next. And for 17, I have... Oh, I, I, I always forget that I have this wallet still. Um, this one is a Furla, black Furla wallet in a soft piano leather. It has this pineapple here. It's actually a piece of leather that's um, on there. And then it has like this gold ring hardware. And it says Furla corner it's really cute there's a back pocket right there i love the interior it's like this bright pink and then the 
the fabric is like in a magenta so it's very fun it's in like new condition there's card slots zipper change pocket there's a pocket uh, slip pocket there and a slip pocket in the back as well and then more pockets for cards here in the very front when you pop it in. and there's also a back pocket i don't remember if i said that but super cute and this is our black furla um, wallet with pineapple design i can't spell pineapple and gold hardware and this one is $60. And that's for our Furla wallet. Oh, well, Lady Badger, I'm sorry, Mr. Sale. I was out in the garden all day. But that's this little guy right there, number 18. Uh, next up, we got number oh, 17. Sorry, that was number 17. Number 18 is next. And. I have Ooh, okay so I have this is another bag that I've been like thinking about painting I feel like it would be so fun to like paint this but oh it could definitely hold a uh, phone Robin inside that little inside this little guy right here It just doesn't, like, with the case, it's just too big. I think I tried it before without the case. And it fits inside. Oh, yeah. Definitely fits um, without the case on. Just that my pop socket in the case are just so bulky. It just takes up too much space. Oh, um, I accidentally hung up on feeder in. Ew, I've been getting so many spam calls recently. What's up with that? I feel like for a while I stopped getting spam calls and then they just made a resurgence um, recently. Okay, next up... Um, yeah, this is another one I wanted to paint. It's a, this is the Rebecca Minkoff um, Mini Love uh, flat bag. And it's just in this quilted white leather, has light gold hardware, wear it as a crossbody, or you can double up the chains and just wear it as a little shoulder bag. And a little turn lock here on the front. There's a back pocket right there. Ooh, that would be amazing, Levon. That would be a true, true treasure. Um, one interior pocket. Interior is nice and clean. The exterior is in great shape, too. Um, this is another bag I'm itching to paint. <laughs> I feel like this would be so fun in, like, a metallic. Like, I'm thinking, like, a metallic green would be so fun. Oh, yeah, Kirsten, we have the same idea, metallic green. I have that, um, where is it? Did I leave it already? Okay, I can't find it. Where did I put that bag? I have a... I've shown you guys that one case fade that I was working on that I still haven't finished, and it's in a metallic green. That's what I want to do with this one. I think this would be so good in a metallic green. I should just get to work on these, and then do, like, um, I should do a live where everything that I sell is something that I, like, did a custom paint job on. I think that would be pretty fun, except I wouldn't have that many pieces. But yes. Oh, that's awesome, Fatih. It was just inside the bag. Okay, so this is uh, number 18. I'm just going to keep it white for now, though. But if anyone buys it, it'll just be white. But I, I might 
make it a different color. Um, white, Rebecca, Minkoff, Mini, Love, Flat Bag with Gold Hardware. Ooh, Kirsten, that sounds so pretty. How much did you? 45. Lady Badger said metallic red. <laughs> Do I have a, I think I might have a metallic red, actually. Do I have a metallic red? <laughs> Custom by Hadrian. That would actually be so fun. Okay, 19 is up next. Metallic red, says Linda. Ooh, okay, hold on. Let me see if I have a red before anything. Let's see. I hope I have metallic red. Scarlet red, bottom red. Oh, okay. oh Ed, did you want it? In just like the regular, in that regular color? Okay, I don't need, I don't have a cherry, a metallic cherry red. I thought I did, but I guess I did not. The only metallic, I only had a pearlescent riot red, which is like an orangey red, so. But Ed, let me know if you want it. Um, that one was number, oh, Ed wants it, okay. Ed, so that one's yours, that was number 18, that was $45, okay? So congratulations, Ed. I only had a pearlescent red, and I know that's not the same as, like, I know what red you guys are talking about, like, that cherry red would have been so good. Okay. Oh, yeah, Ed, are you calling it in the white, though? It's just in a beautiful white leather. That's number 18. Number 19. Okay. Oh, I gotta pay attention to the time. I gotta leave at 7 o'clock, though, you guys, because Cade, I need to pick up Cade from school, because he's coming back on the bus from their um, eighth grade trip, so. I can't believe, oh, Pollyanna, I have all the colors. <laughs> um, but I guess just not that metallic red. I thought I had, yeah. All right. All right, congratulations, Ed, it's yours. That's number 18. Okay, 19 is next. Super hot, do I have a super hot pink? I have like magenta, I don't know if I have like a, I guess I can custom mix the hot pink. <laughs> Lady Badger. Oh, Hypatia, they're um, Angelus paints. So they're just Angelus acrylic leather paints. They're made specifically for leather, but you can use them on fabric. Watch on YouTube blog.
But that would be cool, Yvonne. Okay, next is number 19. And... Oh, I still have this guy. This is that... Um, the large, like the extra large Dooney and Burke hobo in the Florentine leather in black. This one is new with tags and it has a dust bag. It has a polished brass hardware. Nice and large. Such a good size and the leather smells amazing. So you have this. Hot pink. Ooh, Steffi. Okay, I need to get some hot pink paint. Painted smash the Celine. That would be so cute, Marjorie. I love those Celine sneakers. Um, black, large, new with tags and dust bag, Dooney and Burke, hobo shoulder bag. And this one's how much, Peter? 135. Um, Kathleen, no, I still have that one. Um, hold on, let me go grab it. I think I have it in the, in a bin. Ooh, oil slick? So, I don't know if I can paint oil slick. That sounds hard. Um, I'll be right back. Let me go grab that leopard print. I, hold on, let me just put these paints back. Okay, here is that leopard print duty. This one's just $25. Um, it has, like, some rubbing on the corners. So there is some color loss. And the inside does have, like, pen stains, pen marks, rubbing, color loss. It's not like crazy, but yeah, you can see all the marks inside of there. It has a zipper pocket and then just a vintage cell phone pocket right there. And then there, um, the interior piping, it snapped. So you can see that's like that. You're back already? So fast. You guys want to see George Washington? Oh, we're going to take off the boots. Okay, this is item number uh, 20. Hi, Elizo. How was your back to school night? Good. Leopard, print, uh, Dooney, and Burke tote bag, as is, and 25. Gosh, this is beautiful. And that one was number 20. Wait, so are you going to pick up Kay then? Oh, I thought you were still going to pick him up. No, you can go pick him up. No. Yay. Okay, that was number 20. Congratulations, Cindy's calling it. Yeah. Woo! I like this bag. It... What do you mean you want to be in the live for a second? Okay, Zach wants to come in costume. George Washington's making an appearance. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like this one because it is kind of magnet. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah. Zachary, come in. Come into the live. With... I like the Whoa. Whoa. There's George Washington right here. Uh, do you like He's in a live. I know, Yasmin and the boys are all yeah. in the live. Like... Uh, yeah, Hi. Hi. So what do you have to say to them? Hi. Oh, tell them what George Wa what you said for George Washington for you your want to do your monologue. For your monologue. You don't want to do your monologue? No. Why not? The wax museum's done. 
Oh, well, pretend that you're at the Max Museum. No, I, I forgot all the everything. No, okay, tell them something, like anything about George Washington. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah. He was Hendrix is really interested He was the first president of the United States. Anything else? Um, yeah. He had wooden teeth. Lincoln, that was Abraham Lincoln. Oh. I think George Washington also George had George Washington also had wooden teeth. They didn't have that technology. Hi, Kristen. They didn't have their... Im- Kirsten or Kirsten? Am I saying it wrong? They didn't Kirsten ha- or Kirsten? They didn't have... Um, hey, they said George be, George is looking good. Well, well, they didn't have the technology to implement things into your to teeth. To implement things into your teeth? Into your gums, yes. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Are you sure he didn't have wooden teeth? He did not. That was Abraham Lincoln. Like Rock that. teeth. No, he, had, he just had teeth. Oh. What if he didn't have teeth? What if they all he fell out? He had teeth. Or if he just recycled his teeth that fell out. <laughs> he died before his Z-Binks. teeth fell out. <laughs> I love it. z He has. He died at the age of uh, 67, I think. 67? Oh. He died oh, young, so, it's, so, it's so his teeth couldn't come out. Mom said I could go into oh. pajamas. What do you mean go into pajamas? What, do you, what should you do first before you get into pajamas? Take a bath. Eat. Eat? We had a minimum day today, do you remember? I have to give you a bath in the morning anyway. Yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. Oh. We have one dislike. Who, have I, who, who disliked? Maybe they Find just liked it. Find out who was, Zachary. Maybe they just liked it because we're, we're in the, in the, it's supposed to be a live Is it because and we're George here. Washington had wooden teeth? No, he did not. Uh, can you check? You can't check, Zachary. It's fine. <laughs> uh, no, no, Zach no, is so no, concerned. No, I'm checking. I'm checking. Zach doesn't want to. Go, have go, go on your, place. go on your, in, on your YouTube and give it a thumbs up. I don't up. have a YouTube. Uh, go on your mommy's YouTube and give it no. a thumbs up. Eliza, what are you doing? You broke the bag. I broke the bag. Yeah. Eliza just broke the bag. Because you unscrewed it. Eliza just unscrewed the Chanel bag. Um, yeah, sir, S, um, I forgot the whole thing. He unscrewed it. Eliza? Bing. What was your first order? You unscrewed the Chanel bag? Oh. Making the United States. Ooh, Constitu- now your mommy's gonna have to buy it. Oh, no. The Constitution. Yeah, give it to that me. That was right, right? Oh, that was right, that was right. No, that was wrong. I can fix it. It goes like this. No, no, no. I found it, I found it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she was like stressing out. Um, it's a screw. <laughs> It's literally a screw. Alright, go go change everyone. Go change into your pajamas. I prefer the oh my gosh, I almost died. I love you guys, this bag. You guys wanna go with your mommy to pick up Katiekins? Now Eliza's gonna have to wear this. Not the mustard. Too. You wanna I wear that it. backpack? That's it. He said that was his favorite bag. Is that your favorite bag? Okay, let, let me see you try it on. Alright, Zachary. Mm-hmm. Eliza's gonna try on his new school backpack. I'm taking out your slippers. Wow. Hey, Zachary, you take off your jacket over there. Zachary, bring your stuff and put it upstairs nicely. Whoa. Nice. You're going to, you're, you're going to wear like that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got to put this, two straps. It's not Two warm. straps. It's Eliza. Too bad, bad. No, there's two straps. Two straps. He's leaving. Oh. I have to you. Oh, there's two straps. He's leaving. Oh. After you took the little thing off. The bag. Hi guys. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Eliza screwed off the little thing. Right no, here. but it has. It's like a literal screw, actually. It's yeah, like you just. I know. Screw it back in. It's fine. It was so scary, though. I almost. Yasmin yeah, almost bought that backpack. It's mine. He's gonna wear that Chanel backpack to school on his last day of school. Zach, let me know if you come visit. Well, I said just wearing Chanel to school. Yeah, <laughs> casually wearing Chanel to school. It's like normal. I told him before he should wear it to school, and he was like, you do no, the it's too small. <laughs> it's too small for me. <laughs> How am I going to put my homework inside this bag? Hi, Linda. Yeah, mustard's okay, Don. Eliza it's just, so cute. He literally just unscrewed this little thing right here. Because it has a screw in it. You can Why do they it both look so grown? Because they're oldest chips. I know. Even just looking Yasmin, at them. Yasmin, you're sitting on the Chanel. <gasps> oh my gosh, Yasmin's literally squishing no, all the Chanel I was hovering over them. You're squishing. 
It's Chanel Bay. And Silhouette Bay. Yes. Mom, Yasmin's squishing the bags and she's not picking up her child. He's not time to go. You said he had, he was at 7 o'clock. Excuse me, I'm going to go pick him up in a Gucci belt. What is this? Oh no, it's at the end. I can't put it on. My case. You have this? It's cute. Okay, back to the sale. <gasps> I know, LJ, they're so old now. So nice. Are you selling this? Yeah. Why? Of course I'm selling it. I'm selling everything. This is the bag that Hendrix likes, and then he took his off, and then I almost. Eliza took the screw off on the off. on the Chanel and backpack, I almost died. and then he started panicking a little bit, and, and then Yasin was panicking a little bit. As Yasin was panicking more than Eliza was panicking. Hey, I'm trying to finish my live sale. No, because I'm going to cook. Oh, they want to know how your heat ice curls have been. I, I never had a chance to try it yet. Oops. I forgot that my shirt's weird. I think people saw an accident because it was I'm just weird. Which auntie? No, he knows. No, mom. That's a Kathy. Okay. That's a Kathy. What? That's a Kathy. No, but anyways. No, he cleaned this up in this just looks like okay. I'm just gonna finish my live sale now while you guys have a discussion yes, over there. You can just go ahead and do what you do, and we can talk what we want to talk about. I do need that orange puzzle. Kids don't care nothing about a Chanel bag, neither does Yasmin because she was sitting on the <gasps> I was oh, not this one. Welcome this you guys, who thinks, here. who thinks this should be my belt? I want this yellow one. <laughs> yes, we. <gasps> oh, you're stepping on the on the shoe. Can I see this shoe. yellow one? No, one doesn't. Oh, do you want the yellow one? Oh, the Chanel or the Gucci belt? <laughs> They're all going crazy. What's the yellow one? <laughs> we go to, uh, Which yellow one? Mm -hmm. Mom, Chanel. <laughs> Mom, let's look at the Chanel. Excuse us. Excuse us right now. What is even happening? We're busy. We're shopping. Oh, <gasps> uh, <gasps> so cute. You're hiding this from me. Yeah, he is. He does those things. And then he has all these fabulous bags that I want to use in my life. So yeah, I can so feel fancy. just going to sit on all of them. I would not. Why is Zach's hat in here? George Washington left a piece of himself here. He left his wooden teeth. He left his wooden teeth inside the hat. Oh, wait, that's Abraham oh, Lincoln. Yes. Oh, look at this. Look at my mom's bag, guys. Are we dead? They were there. They were here. Oh, wait, we can't say dead. Are we living? Have we, have we resurrected? Are we fully? That is so cute. Mom. The like computer froze. Wait, what's happening? There's so many comments. I know. Yasmin <laughs> needs it. What does Yasmin need? I have no clue. I, I, I need things. Yasmin. I need everything. Wait, I don't, did I not go on a picture yesterday? Oh, you guys didn't take any pictures? Did Kay take any pictures on his field trip? Yeah, he, he sent me, well, he sent me one photo, but he was updating me a little bit during the trip. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. You can borrow it. Thanks, mommy. Oh, yeah, I bought it. Yeah, I'm selling this one. I know, I can't believe it. It's okay, it's too So, this there. one is a size, I don't know what the size is 8534. <laughs> someone, said, Mom, someone said, quit hiding, quit hiding um, uh, items from the fam. Yes. This yeah, one right. is Who's item Linda? number. I Thank you, Linda. I do need <laughs> number this number twenty-one. Linda. She said I need this. This is she our black Chanel belt. Oh, Chanel Gucci belt, and it is two hundred and seventy 
Mom, it's Mom, the bag. Mom, the bag. You put it over there. I'm going to borrow this next time. Can I can pink. Yeah. Wait, does this go inside? Please, does yes, this go inside? Yes, yes. Why is Zachary sounding like, or Henderson? Why are your kids screaming? Can you tell me what time it is right now? It's 7 o'clock. <gasps> I want this one too. Mommy, that's so you. That's perfect for you, though, when you want to be light. Do you want me to move that? No, oh. it's fine. Here, I'll put the lock back on your walking thing. <laughs> okay. It's chaotic here. Huh? I know. Sorry, guys, for interrupting the live. Look at my eyes. They're just, like, peeking through. This <laughs> is so creepy. Oh, Purple Rain's calling 21. Congratulations, Purple Rain. Yay! I know, this deal has... This deal has gone off the rails already. Oh, I'm sorry, Hipatia. Purple Rain called that one right before you. You can blame Yasmin. What? What did I do? How did I do that? Yasmin, why would you? Ah! What did you get? I want to see it. No, the belt. <gasps> she got the belt. No, Purple Rain got it. Ah! Okay, Purple Rain, you have to. My eyeballs are like. Okay, I have to go, or else, like, people are gonna... You have to right. pick up Cade! Yeah, I'm you gonna You're go. like, he better be there at 7 o'clock, or else he might be there no, waiting. No, I'm gonna, like... And I don't want him to wait. No, they said around 7.30. So you want me to be there at 7 o'clock, but then he wasn't gonna be there till around 7.30? Where's my phone? Ah! I'm the worst mommy sometimes. <laughs> I'm not like this, I promise. She's like this all the time. No, I'm not! Yeah, she is. I'm not. Alright, next up, we're on number 22. And let's do... Someone's saying they totally don't care for Adrian. I think that we're bothering you. Why? <laughs> um, next up... Okay, wait, hold on. Something's going to my eyeball. Okay, um... This is so cute. I, I can't believe I haven't shown this one to my mom. She would probably say you need to fix it before she used it, though, because it still has, like, I never cleaned it up. Like, I never um, repainted it or anything. It still has, like, all, like, the discoloration and stuff on the sides. But I feel like it looks cool. It's, like, grunge. Uh, you got invited for tea? By Miss, our favorite teacher. Are you serious? Yes. Wait, no way. She yes. really did? Yes. <gasps> She's my favorite teacher. Wait, T? What does that mean? <gasps> I'm invited to an appreciation luncheon? What, what day is this? Is this next week? <gasps> I'm going to a lunch. I'm going to a luncheon. This is very exciting. What am I gonna wear? Maybe <laughs> 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 like you should have bought that Mugler suit. As if. You should have gotten a bedroom. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so crazy. We're like a hot mess here. Okay. What else do we have? Um, you know, I don't think my mom's ever seen. She was looking at the case. Remember that glass case that I got at the Goodwill? And... I put all my bags inside of it. That's what she was looking at. And she's, like, never seen that case before. Because I don't think... Yeah, she's never seen it. I just, like, put it, like, straight into my room. I know. There better be K-Barbecue at that luncheon. Exactly. Um, Linda, I only have the orange one that I'm letting go of at the moment. It's so cute though. The mini is like so good. I love this the mini size because this, especially this, uh, the edge 
the style of the of the puzzle the in the mini this actually holds more than the regular puzzle in the same size because the leather on the on the edge puzzle is more pliable and you can get like your cell phone in here like a lot easier too because it's a softer leather <laughs> my mom's voice is so soothing She's gonna love that when I tell her. Okay, next up we have, um, oh, I still have the white Luavi hammock too. My mom was looking at that. She's probably gonna try and steal that also. Steffi, it's so cute. Did I show you guys like the difference between this one and like the regular um, mini puzzle? Because like this one actually holds so much. I think I showed you guys like what fits inside this bag one, um, like, I think it was like two weeks ago, but it actually holds a really good amount considering it is um, a small bag. It's the nano puzzles that really don't fit anything. Okay, next up is 22. And we did the puzzle. We did this. I also do have the belt bag still, the Chanel belt bag in the metallic silver. And this has gunmetal colored hardware. And then they just adjustable straps. This one is so cute. There's a back zipper pocket and then there's one in the front as well. It just has the gray lining. There's one interior pocket inside of there. Oh no, Steffi. I, I've just been considering hoarding it in my um, fleet of puzzle packs. <laughs> oh, Linda, yeah. It does come with the, the long straps inside. Uh, Crossbody strap is right in there. The only difference um, with the straps on the minis are that the mini straps are not adjustable. But crossbody, and then it, it hits right at my hip. So cute, and it's such a good size. So squishy. But yeah, and it does, um, I have all the cards and stuff that go with it. I just don't have the desk bag. But it has the little card and then the care booklet and just inside. But it's so, so fun. I love the colorway too. I think um, this, they did three different um, color combos um, when these bags came out. It was this one, there was like a blue or a green, like a blue green one, and then I think it was a brown yellow. Oh, bye, Kirsten. Have a good rest of your night. Exactly, Steffi. It's so fun. Okay, um, twenty two is. Are you okay, Vivian? You're like dying over there. Oh, what are you eating? I'm hungry. White rice and beef. Oh, that sounds delicious. Okay, next up um, is this Dooney or oh, Dooney Tory Birch Hobo shoulder bag. It has like this cool leather strap. It's like kind of like almost like a braided design, and it's in a cream, a burgundy, and then like the taupe color of the bag, and then it ends in light pink. Um, the bag is pretty much in perfect condition. It just has some wear on the edge coating um, right here on the corner on this uh, right side of the strap where it connects to the bag. But other than that, the bag is in pretty much perfect condition. It has a front pocket right here. The top is magnetic. And the interior has a 
zipper pocket and then three open pockets inside. And that's number 22, our taupe leather Tory Burch hobo shoulder bag. And it has silver hardware. And this one is, are you still choking, Vadre? The rice. You're gonna grow a rice tree inside your lungs. Okay, we're gonna do this one for $55. We're gonna discount it. I think we had it like $75 before. So it's 22 it's number, it's gonna be 55 for our Tory Birch. I still can't believe I was invited to a luncheon. That's gonna be so much fun. Angela! Oh, were you calling number 22, Angela? I think you were. <laughs> uh, just let me know. I just want to make sure. But if, it, if you did call it, then that one is yours. Congratulations! Next up, we got 23. Um, I have... Oh, I still have this. This is a black Lawn Vaughn shoulder bag. Um, it's... In such good condition, it's just missing a stud. There's a little stud that's missing right here. It's supposed to look like that. So it's missing um, one stud right there. And yeah, it has like this belted detail. It's in this really nice soft black leather, silver hardware. Interior has a dividing middle zipper pocket. And then there's just one open pocket on the inside and the interior is nice and clean the only thing is just missing one stud but it's such a cute little bag you can wear it on your shoulder like that made in italy uh it's okay angela no worries uh so this is our black lawn von shoulder bag with silver hardware missing Okay, this one, we're just going to do this one for $75. And that's 23 And then 24 is next. I still can't believe I'm missing a stud. I didn't even notice that I was missing a stud when I got it. Okay, next up, we have... Um, Stella McCartney backpack. This is in that light denim with a metallic magenta trim and then gunmetal hardware. This one is in light new condition. It has gray vegan leather straps and has a drawstring, but the top flap is magnetic, and it just has one interior zipper pocket. And this is in pretty much light new condition. And the only wear is just like a slight cracking in the edge coat of where it connects inside there. But honestly, you're never going to see it unless you actually look in there. So that's pretty much the only wear on the bag. It does also have the chain on the bottom as well. Just a fun backpack. And the straps are also um, adjustable. Yes. Hi, Squishy. Okay, this is 24. This is our denim uh, Stella McCartney backpack. And this one was how much, Vadrin? Okay. We're going to do a good discount on this one. We're just going to do at $200. That's going to be number 24 
for 200 for our Stella, Mc Stella McCartney backpack. Super cute. Do I have any graphic t-shirts? Um, I think I have like a coach t-shirt, but I think that's it. I can check really quick though. But that's how it looks on. It's really cute. Um, okay, let me check and see if I have, I know I have like a couple. Let me take a phone Okay, I have, I also found this dress. I totally forgot that I had this. Um, this is a new with tags coach t-shirt, um, but it just has like the coach little graphic on the front right there. And it's in like a metallic, um, like silvery color. And it's a, it's a large. So it's like, a, it's a men's large. So it's a oversized t-shirt. Um, it's kind of like more like a men's extra large. But new tags, um, coach t-shirt. There. Oh, Hipatia is calling 24. Congrats, Hipatia. Yay! I'm so glad you got that backpack. It's so cute. Okay, so this is going to be our black coat shirt. This is number 25. And we're going to do it for just $45. It's new with tags. That's number 25. Okay, so that's our coach shirt right there. And then I found this guy. And this is a um, Hervé Léger. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, Hervé Léger dress. Um, it's a size... It's a size small. It fits my sister, and she usually wears like a size small dress, and her pants are usually like a size four. But it's in this beautiful like forest green, and then it like balloons out at the bottom. It's really cute, and it's strapless, so it would just be like that. Oh, Sandra! Yay! I'm glad you like everything. That makes me so happy. Okay. Um, yeah. Hervé Léger. Hervé. Hervé Léger. Or whatever it is. Uh, right there. Um, yeah. It sits. It's like a... The, the length is like above knee. It's a size small. Yeah. It's also cool because it's like a sample. So I don't know if this ever made into like went into production or whatever, but it's amazing. Uh, and this is going to be item number 26. It's a size small purple rain. 
It fits my sister. She usually wears a size small dress, and her pants are usually a size two or two to four. Um, so this is our green. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna do this one for a hundred and thirty dollars. That's number twenty six. For our Hervé Léger, I don't know how to pronounce it, dress, it's beautiful, the color is really nice. It's like this, uh, it's like a foresty green color, and then the, in, the stitching part is kind of like metallic-y, like glitter. I think it has like a little bit of like a greenish goldish glitter like mixed into the like whatever the string is to sew it together. Does that make sense? But yeah. A beer commercial. <laughs> okay. So that was um, the Hervé Leger dress. Hervé Leger. Adrian can't pronounce things. That's so funny, an underwear commercial. Uh, next up, we got number 27. And I have, this is a Philip Lim, I believe. Yeah, this is a Philip Lim flap bag. And it's in this like black and white print. The leather is really cool. It's like laser cut into like little slices and you can feel the texture of the leather. Like it's really cool. I don't know if it, can you see it? Like, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see the texture moving. It's really interesting and it's super soft. Uh, you have the crossbody strap right here, which you can wear as a shoulder strap as well. Come on. So you can wear this as a shoulder bag also. It's a nice, like, square silhouette. Uh, this is magnetic, but it also has, like, a little hook. You can hook underneath to keep it closed. Uh, there's a pocket here and then a zipper pocket behind it. This does come with the original dust bag. It comes with, like, the Saks um, tag. And then it has... Four built-in card slots and then a slip pocket inside. And the interior is um, lined in fabric and leather. And it has silver hardware. There she is. Um, it's strapless, um, Steffi. And it's... Uh, it's like a midi length. So it's definitely like above the, like it's like above the knee. And then it balloons down at the bottom. Um, so how much is the Philip Lim reader? And this one is gonna be... There it is again really quickly. It's so cool. The leather is like so interesting. It's like alien leather. Oh, like, can you see the texture? It's... Amazing. Okay, let's do this one for just one fifty. That's number twenty seven. It does also come with a desk bag. Twenty seven. And then next up we got twenty eight.
my last and my dad's are stuck together. Okay, let's put them over here. What else do we have? Um, let's see. Let's see. I have um, this black Mark Jacobs. This is the Natasha, I believe. And it's in a black pebbled leather. It has that like antique gold hardware. This does have the newer strap too. It's the thicker strap. It's an inch wide and it's adjustable and removable. And then you have that zipper that goes across the top flap and that has one compartment. And then when you get into here, um, it just has one interior pocket right there. So I just need to good vacuuming in the inside but there's no like crazy stains or anything there's might be some slight discoloration of the black fabric just from regular use but otherwise the bag is in pretty good shape uh, oh there is some discoloration on the hardware though so you can see there's some discoloration on there and also on the zipper pull as well you can see some of that gold coming off but otherwise the bag is in great shape that's number 28, black, Mark Jacobs, Natasha, with gold hardware. And this one is going to be 50, $50, dollars do 50, five zero. That's number 28. And then 29 is next. I think tonight we're just going to go to 30. And then I may or may not be back tomorrow on Friday. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Super cute. Natasha's like the best. So uh, this is, um, Mark Jacobs actually brought back this style. He retired it for a while and then brought it back. Yeah, it's marked by Mark. And I think the retail on this is like, how much do you think? Like $350, $375? It's, they're pretty expensive. Okay, so 29 is here's another Mark Jacobs. This is a Mark Jacobs little flat bag, and it's in light pink. It has a white Mark Jacobs right there. It has like a white um, acrylic hardware, and then the rest of this hardware on the bag is in gold. There is a back pocket right here, and then top flap is magnetic, and then interior just has one interior pocket. I like that lining in there too. It's like the, the monogramming. It's fun. That's that light pink. That's uh, number 29. And the, um, this bag is in really great shape. Just has a little bit of like, just a little squished from being inside my bin. But it'll even itself out. And that is our pink Mark Jacobs flat bag with white acrylic and gold hardware. And this is going to be... Oh, the strap is also convertible. So you can wear it as a crossbody and then you can also double it up and then wear it as a shoulder bag. So you can wear it two different ways. This one's $95. Just do 90 so this is 90, that's number 29 for 90. And then last item of the night is going to be number 30. I'm like, I keep looking at this paint. Like, I can't wait to finish painting that Dooney and Burke. It's going to be so, so cute. Uh, last item of the night is going to be a super sunglasses. Which one is my favorite pair right now? Oh, these are so cool. Someone has to get these. These are the clear blue Celines. They're like in a light blue. They look like like ice. I don't know. They're really, really cool. And then it has gray lenses. Or gray blue lenses. And there are just like some light marks on the, like the, uh, the frames. But you can't see them unless you take them off and like look at them because they're in the back. 
when you're wearing them, you don't even see them at all. But this is how they look. Uh, the interior, like the metal in the inside, if that makes sense, that metal that you see going through the arm of the sunglasses, it's silver. But the um, the writing, like for Celine, is in gold. I don't know if that's going to show right there, but that's in gold. And this is old Celine. So this is Phoebe Philo Celine. And these are number 30, our last item of the evening, our clear blue Celine sunglasses with blue lenses and silver and gold. And this is a hundred dollars. That's our last item of the night. Okay. And then now let's do our giveaway. Let me leave the link one more time too for the giveaway. Good night, Linda. All right, so there's the giveaway link. Again, we're giving away this American Leather Company pouch. And it's the charge, it has that charger inside for your phone. And now let's pick our winner. And Three, two, one. Do, 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 do. All right, congratulations, DG House. You are a winner tonight. I'm wanting a Louis Vuitton. I've never had one. Congratulations, DG House. You are the winner of our little charging pouch giveaway tonight. Congratulations. Uh, thank you guys again for being here tonight. <laughs> I am off to dinner because I'm starving. Vader made me super hungry while they were choking on rice. Um, invoices should be sent out within the next 15 minutes. Um, if I don't have a live tomorrow night on Friday, definitely on Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time will be our next live sale. I'll have that scheduled. Um, yeah, if you're watching this video after the live is already over, uh, check down below. Items availability and their pricing is in the description box. Send me an email if you have any questions and I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Good night, you guys. Adios. Sayonara. Arrivederci. Bon voyage. Bye.